y'all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that bell to get an alert on my new upload. So as you can see, my hair is damaged. Yeah, my natural hair is damaged and my curls are not acting right. And it's all because of dyeing my hair numerous times and I think it was when I tried to bleach it to go blonde, but I'm definitely taking a break from dyeing my hair. Starting this video off with freshly washed hair, I'm going to spritz my hair with aloe vera water. I use aloe vera water because I feel like my hair stays more moisturized and it's more shiny opposed to regular water. It seems to dry my hair out and dole it out. And then I'm going to section my hair off, making sure my hair is totally saturated. And then I'm going to seal up all that good moisture with my oil mixture. And next I'm going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb to make sure my hair is tingle free and that my wash and go can be as defined as possible. Now taking the Shea Moisture Jabegan Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner and my homemade flaxseed gel, I'm going to apply that to each section to make sure my hair is nice and clumped, moisturized, curly, defined, all that good stuff. As you guys may see me finger coil because my hair is not acting right and my hair will only curl up if I finger coil it only on the pieces that it's kind of damaged from, the, um, from coloring it but ever so often I might come across my natural curl or a curl that needs a little more help in curling so while we're watching this process, I'm just going to give y'all a backstory on how I got chemical damage with hair dye. <clears throat> so it wasn't from the color oops, it was after the color oops. I did the color oops to um, kind of get my hair into the base color, that's kind of my natural color or the color that I had before I dyed it all black. And I was going to try and dye it blonde and the blonde that I did have before I had cut my hair the second time. And I dyed my hair so many times and I was trying so hard not to bleach it, but I bleached it. And the funny part is that it only took on my root, but it didn't take on the length of my hair. So I didn't think anything was wrong with it. So I went out and bought another hair dye, which was blonde hair dye, and it didn't take only my root. So then I did it another I did it for I did it five times and it finally got to a brown kind of a brown blonde and then after having that color for about a month or two my hair was starting to change like my roots was feeling rough but the ends of my hair was really dry and would not take moisture won't well, um absorb any oils I put in my hair, leave-in condition, nothing. So then I dyed it black because I was like, maybe if I dye it black, it won't look as dry, kind of mask it. And so now I'm like, yeah, my hair is chemically damaged. I can post a video on an old wash and go that I did when my hair was like longer. And you can see like my um, curl pattern was much tighter opposed to now.
after letting my hair air dry for about 20 to 30 minutes, I sit underneath my hair dryer for about 40 minutes to an hour on high heat, cool temperature. If you guys want to see how I make this hairstyle last throughout the week, stay tuned for my next video. If y'all want to see more of me, click these options. If not, y'all see me on a new upload.